Why? <laughs> Somebody's in construction. Tell me what the hell they're doing here. <laughs> They've been working on this for over a year. I'll have to get it from another angle here in just a minute. I mean, look at these mounds of dirt. I thought they were going to turn it into a dump. That was my guess. But I'm just real curious about what you think. I'm just out getting my hike. But look at What's this big white pile over here? All right, we'll get it on the video here in just a minute. Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, October 4th, 2024. Let's get into it. So now we get to say the quiet part out loud. I was listening to Sebastian Gorka, and I, he's talking to uh, Gordon, and uh, they were talking about the Chinese takeover of the uh, U.S. government. Well, I'm going to tell you, it's a satanic takeover of the U.S. government. <laughs> China's involved, most definitely. I guess that's part of the satanic takeover. A lot of people don't understand. There are satanic forces. If you want to believe in the Bible and God, whatever, you know. If you're an atheist, I don't care, whatever. You have to admit, something's wrong. <laughs> Something is real wrong. we got Eric Swalwell with the with uh, what was that damn girl's name uh, everybody called her Fang Fang you know she was Chinese agent then you got Kathy Hochul she had a Chinese agent and uh, of course Joe Biden <laughs> he's uh, he's been uh, taking money from China uh, through his son Hunter Biden uh, all proved by uh, Miranda Devine I mean I'm telling you it's uh, and then of course we got fentanyl of course the Democrats love it they want to kill all Americans but you know what I found a video there are one or two good Democrats, and you know that um, uh, Kennedy's uh, his running mate. She made this video with Roseanne Barr. There's always hope for a Democrat. I don't know. I guess uh, I don't hold that much hope. <laughs> but let's watch that video. People don't know how to believe on the left or in the center. Some of the things Donald Trump says about our country, they, they want more information, but sometimes when it comes out of Donald Trump's mouth, it's it's hard for a lot of Americans to, to view that as, as the end truth. Um, and so then they look to the sophistication of CNN or MSNBC and the polish there, and they say, well, that looks like it might be the truth. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the reality is, I, I think that former Democrats are going to be the ones that are going to help really explain how we got to where we are today. They're going to be the unifiers of this country, I That's think. That's what I think. Right, Jake? I've said yeah. that for a long time. I said, as they wake up and see, like I did, yeah, uh, they'll know where um, all the building, all the hope of the working people of this country it it lies on this side mm -hmm. right now. All right, so that was uh, his uh, running mate. God damn, I'll put her, her name up at the top. But man, I draw a blank on these things when I'm just out hiking. It's not like you can sit in a chair and have your notes in front of you. <laughs> oh, man. So that, I just wanted to start with that video, but the next huge revelation, I want to continue with my story about what's taking place in North Carolina and... Uh, and, and Tennessee, of course, Georgia to a certain extent. Uh, now we find out, and I'll put the articles up, I think it was Brett Weinstein, and he was talking about this, but we find out that the uh, satanic federal government has given the FEMA money to the illegal aliens that they brought across to kill Americans. So I'm telling you, if you don't think Satan's at work in our federal government, you're out of your freaking mind. I've never seen such evil being perpetrated. I mean, I, how can you be a Democrat? You're killing hundreds of thousands of Americans with fentanyl. 
You're bringing criminals into the United States, rapists, child molesters. You got hundreds of thousands of kids that are getting raped on a daily basis. Uh, child trafficking, human trafficking. I mean, I, good Lord, I, I, do I have to keep beating this box? You know, I, I hate to say it, the Democrat Party is largely a satanic party in my mind. Now, everybody says, oh man, you can't say these things. Okay, let's say it's not take, been taken over by foreign interests. All right, so let's not say satanic. Okay, we'll just take that out of the video. We'll just call it foreign, it's foreign control, completely. Of course, you got your, your meat puppets. They're all just blindly going along. Well, that's the Democrat party. It's, uh, they're, they're right, no matter what. <laughs> Have you been watching the videos on uh, CNBC? after the Walsh uh, uh, debate, and they're going on about how, uh, or, or the, uh, the J.D. Vance and Walsh debate, they're going on and on about how Walsh, uh, he's just a good dude, you know, he's only been to China 30 times. <laughs> Don't tell me that guy is not a Chinese asset. You see what I'm saying? So we're just saying at this point in the video, a foreign takeover of the federal government. So anyway, we're gonna get on this theme when I get home. I've got some other videos, and I'm telling you, if you're not getting prepared, you'd better be. And I'm gonna give you one more preparedness tip that I keep, I keep trying to add to this. Oh, let's get a view of this again. So there it is from right here. You see what I mean? Man, I should have flipped the phone a little bit sooner. Look at that. They've been digging in there for two years. Anyway, uh, I just, uh, I'm just out for a walk by the road. That's, I apologize for all the road noise. Like I said, I want to get a, a uh, you know, a digital mic, but unless I can replace that battery, I'm not going to buy a $300 paperweight that later on, you know, once that battery, because it's only got a certain lifespan, I, that I got to just buy another one. I'm just not going to do it. Somebody out there make a reusable uh, mic. If you know of one, just let me know. Could a comment below. All right. Well, uh, hey, check it out. I got a bird. Look at him. Isn't that awesome? Let's see. I don't think I could zoom. See, I can't zoom in on super study mode, and if I get to playing with it, we'll mess up the whole video right there. All right. Anyway, we got the birds. I got to tell you, the weather's finally breaking here in Florida. It's awesome. I mean, this is a... This is absolutely perfect. I'm hardly even sweating. <laughs> you watch my videos, man. You see, you see the sweat rolling into my eyes, and I'm blinking like this, you know. No, I had to come out for a hike. It's right here in the evening. Let's get a look at that sun, huh? Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Let's look at the clouds. Oh my God, this is what you should live for. This is why I love hiking, even along a road. Now listen to this. I want you to hear this truck go by. Now this is just tire noise. But one of the problems, listen to that. Now how, how in the hell is he gonna afford to fuel that thing <laughs> when, when this stuff hits the fan? Let's talk about fuel for one second. Now we've got the, the, uh, the strike going on on the Gulf Coast and the, the East Coast, the Longshoremen. And uh, so that's probably gonna raise your fuel prices right there. Now we've got, uh, you know, you got idiots like um, Bolton and uh, Hodges and uh, Petraeus, whatever. They're all over the mainstream media saying, we need to bomb Iran. We need to bomb their fuel facilities. Are you kidding me? <laughs> do you know what that would do? <laughs> Iran would shut down the Straits of Hormuz. They probably, they've already said they're probably going to bomb a lot of the uh, oil infrastructure in like Saudi Arabia and uh, United Arab Emirates if we go into Iran and bomb the shit out of them. You, you know what that would do to oil prices? <laughs> you'd, see, you'd see $30 a gallon, man. <laughs> if you got a gas car that doesn't get good gas mileage, you better be thinking about things. I'm gonna tell you what, I buy you, I, I buy, if you can ride one, I got a Honda ADV 150, man. I get 100 miles to the gallon on that thing. And that's why I bought it, because I figured I could always, always ride that in the event of an emergency. 
and we got we got we got the super trooper coming up here <laughs> he's, I wonder if he's gonna wonder what's the hell this guy doing walking along the road with a phone in front of him <laughs> oh man we'll, we'll get him on the video here in just a minute as I think about some other things to talk about but you know I just want to keep keep harping on the uh, the story out of North Carolina okay your federal government they don't even care not one iota you're uh, the American people are on their own at this point until we can replace this government and I hope if you know a Democrat you'll at least say something to them they are so brainwashed it's it's mind-blowing I mean I don't know I, I was uh, speculating on uh, one video or a, or a tweet or an ex post excuse me uh, that I said you know maybe there's some sort of Remember Invasion of the Body Snatchers? <laughs> you know, maybe there's some sort of parasite that's gotten into all the Democrat brains or some sort of alien uh, technology that's being used. Oh, another story that was pretty cool was out of Redacted and I encourage you to watch that. They were talking about the, how the United States has been experimenting with controlling the weather for quite some time. And so their speculation was, was that this hurricane uh, was... Uh, was you know, they probably dropped maybe some dry ice in there or whatever to make it much, much worse than what it would have been over the Appalachia area. Okay? And you're saying, well, good Lord, why, why would they do that? Well, if they're satanic, number one, and number two, they're in the cahoots. You know, we have a fascist government. Okay? They're in cahoots with the corporations. So the speculation is, is they wanted to destroy that area with a huge weather event so that they can swoop in, Black Rock, Vanguard, they're gonna swoop in and take that property. And uh, and that way, uh, they, cause there's a lot of lithium in those mountains. And I don't know if you follow along, maybe I'll find an ex post about lithium. I've seen a few. They're talking about how much the world's gonna need lithium here in the coming, you know, eight years or so, uh, especially with these electric cars and everything. So what they're speculating is that they, they seeded that hurricane to destroy that area so now they can swoop in and buy all that property so they can mine it for lithium now you can watch I you know I don't want to show you the redacted episode you can watch it uh, it was yesterday's uh, episode I tell you what I watch that show just about every day <laughs> I mean, it's, there's always something on there because I love the fact that they go into these wild stories that you wouldn't hear otherwise boy I tell you the car noise is unbelievable isn't it and this is a this is a nothing road here in Florida, we don't control the muffler systems. So every now and then you get a car that rolls by, and I mean, man, it's so freaking loud. I don't know. We need do need a law in Florida. <laughs> you at least got to put something on the muffler to, to, to keep it in somewhat decent shape. Anyway, I'm going to get this car. I thought it was a super trooper, but it's not. And you know, you see this all the time here in Florida. It's really bizarre. I don't know what it's like for you. I don't remember seeing this in like North Carolina or uh, even Michigan. But check this out. Well, in, De in Detroit for sure. <laughs> but look at that. So it's just an abandoned car sitting right in the middle of the road. You know, it's between the lanes. But they just left it right there. I don't know what the, the rag hanging out the window means. Okay. Maybe it means... I surrender <laughs> I don't know man. but uh, yeah you see that all the time now I, I always worry about because I had to park on the side of the road but there's no signs here that say no parking and I see people parked on the side of the road all the time here in Florida one of the advantages that we have here you know is that you don't have to worry about your car sinking into a mud puddle or or a, a lot of times a huge ditch or any of that sort of thing you can just pull up on the side and you got to make a phone call that's always a good way to do it you know? so see did you hear that muffler as that truck went by lots of pickup trucks here in central florida <laughs> anyway all right we'll get to the next story here in a few hold on so this is just a, a view clip but i wanted to show you why i walk along this road even though it's loud and obnoxious there's another pickup truck isn't that beautiful Look at that farmland. I hope that this never goes away. This is this is within 10 minutes of my house. It's awesome, isn't it? Unfortunately, when you look across over here, this is on the other side. Well, I'll get get a view down a ways. They, they've converted that farm property into, into housing. All right. Here's another view pick 
further down the uh, the walk here. Look at them clouds right there. Isn't that awesome? Look over back here. Anyway, news is uh, Fannie Mae may be going up on charges. Now, if you didn't know, that was the woman who brought the case in Georgia against Trump. And uh, anyway, I, she was... Uh, you know, that's one thing I don't understand about motorcycles. Everybody likes them loud. Now, the reason is they said that they want the drivers around them to hear them. And that's fine. I guess you're going to go deaf <laughs> on that motorcycle, you know. Uh, anyway, I, I mine, my little Honda ADV, it's quiet as a mouse, man. I mean, plus I live in a retirement community. If I had a loud Harley, I'd imagine people be calling the police or, or actually go to the HOA. Good Lord, they'd be banging on my door. You can't ride that motorcycle in our community. <laughs> That'd be for sure. But I did want to tell you that it looks like, of course, well, that... Her boyfriend absconded, by the way. Now, she if you didn't know, she was employing her boyfriend and paying him a huge salary uh, to help her prosecute Trump. And then they found out they were sleeping together and had a relationship. And uh, and so he's uh, he's on the ropes. He's on the he's on. <laughs> he might be in another country by now, from what I understand. He's absconded. Uh, I don't know if he's been found. I haven't I haven't seen any news on that. I just I read the original cases and I thought well, that's. I don't really care, you know. I mean, I'm glad the case is over, but uh, but now that she's going to jail, that would be some poetic justice, wouldn't it? Maybe sometimes the right thing happens every now and again, gives you hope, right? You got to have hope that something might turn around. So that's uh, that was it. I, I I was getting ready to talk about prepping for just one second. So there's two things I, I want you to do, and I've said this in previous videos, I believe. You know, one is get on the computer right now. There's a solar flare coming within the next couple of days, which could block communications. All right, so if you've got, especially if you have Starlink or whatever, God, those poor people in North Carolina, if, if Starlink gets taken out by the solar flare, that's going to be unbelievable. Because uh, they said it's huge. This is the biggest one since, uh, I think somebody said 2017. Except this one's got some, some characteristics that no other solar flare has ever had. Are we in the end days? <laughs> I, mean, I, I put up a video of the four horsemen riding uh, not too long ago. I mean, it just seems like one damn thing after another, doesn't it? Holy moly, regional war in the Middle East, possible global thermal nuclear war with Russia. I'm sorry, I'm getting off on a tangent here. <laughs> but, but I want you to pay your bills, man, right now. You got to pay them in advance. Pay them in advance, man. I pay them. I'm fact, I'm going home. I, I had my uh, my uh, internet bill paid one month in advance, and I, I lit that slack because we ran into some problems because uh, I had them come out. I thought I was having problems, and then they, anyway, it was a huge controversy. I won't go into the details and bore you with it, but uh, so that's all cleared up. So we pay, get on there, pay your bills, pay them in advance. You know, do it now. Do it, do it now. The, uh, the other thing was I was talking about, you know, having a bug out home and, you know, getting your water supply. Now, I don't know if you have the money, but I want you to start planning or looking into, does your community allow a well? Okay. And if you can dig a well, I'm, and my community does, and I want to dig a well, I just don't have the money to do it. Now, when silver hits $100 a share, you better believe I'm going to be putting in a well. And I'll be looking at a bug out location and perhaps buying some real estate. I've already got my plan on where I'm going with all of this. But anyway, I just wanted to throw a couple more stories at it. A lot of people don't know the solar flare is coming. You know, and, and here's another thing. Do you have electrostatic bags? All right, you know those headlamps that you have or those LED flashlights or uh, any, any electrical device that has, uh, you know, computers, all of that stuff. I want you to look around and anything you can, start putting them in electrostatic bags. Now, I don't think the solar flare is going to take out, it might take out the power grid, okay, but I don't think it's going to affect, you know, devices like that. And I know there's nothing we can do about our cars. All our cars ain't going to work. <laughs> if there's a nuclear uh, magnetic pulse that hits you, I mean, your, your car's dead. <laughs> I don't know, my motorcycle might work. I'd have to look. I, I doubt it. Maybe there's probably something in there that they've put in in modern technology. But uh, that's a question I'm going to ask the motorcycle dealer next time I'm there. That would be a good question. Maybe motorcycles might work after an electromagnetic pulse. 
I don't know if they've got all of the electronics in there, although mine has an electric start, so it probably does, but you could probably bypass that electric start somehow. That, that'd be something to ask. So I'll find out, and when I find out, I'll let you know. But uh, anyway, start putting those things in electrostatic bags. Your LED flashlights, your small electronics, and you know a microwave is a Faraday cage. Okay, so if you got an old microwave, I used to use old microwaves when I was in Michigan. Now, when I moved to Florida, of course, I wasn't going to move a, an old microwave that doesn't work, <laughs> you know, just to have a Faraday cage. So, uh, but that's a place where you can store some electronics also. Uh, if you've got an old microwave sitting out in your garage, you know, throw some, throw, throw any electronic, computer equipment, cell phones, for example. I've got two cell phones, so, you know, if I had a microwave, I might just store the cell phones when they're charged up you know and i'm asleep at night at least i could have them protected you know about half the half the day maybe one quarter of the day i mean you know you, you got to use them so obviously you, know, you, you can't but you could at least put them in a, in a safe place at night right or just stick them in a, an electrostatic bag while you're asleep at night i know you're saying that cyber security guy this is some extreme nonsense <laughs> but that solar flare is on its way that's all i got to say as the sun sets, look at the water out there. We'll get into the next story of the video. So if you don't believe there's gonna be regional war in the Middle East, I got two more videos for you. The first is uh, Israel's bombing Beirut again. Took down a couple of more part apartment buildings. Now Russia has come out and said they've uh, put a decree on uh, Israel that uh, they want them to stop bombing or get out of uh, Lebanon. Now, I have no idea. I mean, the Russians, one thing about the Russians, they do what they say and they say what they mean, you know. They don't just come out and make statements, you know, like Blinken and all them liars in the U.S. federal government. You can't trust a word that comes out of their mouth, or a Democrat for that matter. But, uh, but no, the Russians, man, when they make a statement, they're saying something now. they backing that up. They've called on all Russians to depart Israel effective immediately. So I don't know how many Russians are in. I mean, there's a, there are a lot of Russian Jews. And I don't know how many of them live in Israel, but Russia's giving them fair warning. There's another pickup truck. <laughs> and another pickup truck. Uh, so anyway, they're giving them fair warning to get the hell out. So what does that mean? So anyway, the video on Beirut, you saw that. So now let's get a video on Syria because uh, Israel is bombing Syria. Let's watch that. Okay, so now I, I put you know I put the text up, but they're supposed I'm putting it up right now. So they're saying that that is a a uh, uh, Israeli ship that's uh, that's hitting it right now. Now you understand the Russians they have a huge navy. I mean not in comparison to the United States. I mean, that's probably our biggest other than our air force. Uh, we got a tiny army, <laughs> and the Marine Corps is just a, a, a leaf on the tree, you know. But, uh, but yeah, um, 
those Russians, you know, I, I don't think they're going to take kindly to an Israeli ship bombarding Syria. So this could be another flare-up point in the Middle East. And, uh, of course, you know Israel has promised, oh, we're going to strike Iran in a big way. Well, I don't know how they're going to strike Iran. I mean, the Russians, have, they've got, uh, and it's pretty much confirmed now, there are a thousand or more Russian troops on the ground in Iran manning those, uh, those air defenses. So no matter what Israel does, if they fly F-35s in there, I guarantee you that all of them aren't making it home. So no matter how much people want Israel to bomb Iran, Iran's got air defenses now. <laughs> and I don't know how good they are because they've only had a few months to get them up and running. And uh, But the Russians are there manning them. So make of that what you will. But I'm going to hate editing this damn video. I hate having too many clips. But look at that. The sun's right here. Look at that effect off to the side. I'm just going to leave it on that for just one second. Look at that. That it almost looks like a second sun, doesn't it? Is that a cool effect? Man, I tell you, maybe I'll use that as my thumbnail for the video. <laughs> I mean, that's awesome. So don't want to miss this on the video. I was going to wait a second longer, but I'm not sure that effect in the cloud. So here's the sun right here. And I want to get that. But I wanted to get the cloud underneath it. Look at that cloud. Is that cool or what? Now, I'll cut it on here just in case. Because that might not last much longer. Now, I want to shamelessly promote my channel, Outdoors with Kirk on Rumble. Outdoors with Kirk on Rumble. Okay, that's my main outdoor channel. Now, we're getting into hiking season here in Florida. And one of the things I'm going to start doing, I'm going to pull the carpet, pull the uh, cover off of my motorcycle, and we're going to do some long rides here in Florida. And I'm going to be hiking some trails a lot further away. Here goes the sheriff. A lot further away from Central Florida here soon. So if you're into enjoying my hikes or just want to learn about the hiking trails in Florida, I encourage you to go to that channel. Now I also post them on YouTube, but I'm not sure. My life on YouTube is going to be much longer. They don't like me very much. They're always hitting me with copyrights and strikes and, you know, I guess because uh, I talk about things that the deep state doesn't want you to know about. Now, I did want to show you this. See, this was all farmland where these houses are. When I moved here in 2017, it's kind of depressing to me. You know, this is, this is actually... What they did was they dug this out. That's gonna. That's in Florida. We have to have drainage areas for, um, you know, when you when you build communities and stuff. Because if there is a huge, well, I don't think if we put handle 44 inches of rain, I imagine these houses would be underwater if 44 <laughs> inches of rain came down. But you know, for a normal, you know, six inches of rain or so, that would that'll capture all the water so that these houses don't flood. But I just it just depresses me that I've seen so. And, by the way, what's it like for you? I mean, here in Florida, the construction is still going on like crazy. I mean, I, everywhere you look, there's a damn house going up. I mean, Central Florida is just booming. Booming. I mean, if you, if you want to work in the construction business, come to Central Florida. By the way, I'm going to make uh, at least one last clip because I hate it. I had to hike too much to get down here. And it gets dark here in Florida at 730 so it's going to be, I hate hiking in the dark, but being by a road, you know, I can pretty much see the sidewalk. Uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about, maybe we'll get some on the video. I cannot believe, I mean, th th this is the time of year when all life really wakes up here in Florida. Let's just keep it on the, that site. Uh, man, the ants and the grasshoppers, <laughs> they're out by the hundreds and it just, you know, it just so happens here I am trying to get them on the video. Here's one. See him? Can you see that guy? There he goes. Anyway, they're, everywhere I walk, there's just grasshoppers and ants just going crazy. All right. Enough for on the nature. Let's get the right-hand side here. It's time for me to turn around because it's going to be dark, but I did want to show you. And see over here? This used to be farmland too. You see those houses behind the trees? Everywhere. Everywhere. There's these huge neighborhoods going up with a, a thousand houses. It's just unbelievable. I was going to wait till dark 
to make the next and final hiking clip or what will be unless we see something crazy but there's a construction area one more time like I said if anybody knows what the hell they're doing right there I'm just gonna keep out on the video for one second but I wanted to break in because we got some breaking news but I want to be like Paul Harvey and give you the rest all right so here's the rest of the story okay now so they they're going to end the hike or the uh, strike until january 15th now what's significant about january 15th now i want you to think about this think about it think about it it's after whoever's inaugurated <laughs> takes over the, the country that could be uh if it, if they can cheat enough it'll be kamala or uh, if not, Trump, and the, guess what? He's going to come into right into a longshoreman strike. And, of course, the mainstream media will be all over the place going, this is all Trump's fault. It's all Trump's fault. They, you know, everybody's memory won't even remember what took place in October or at the beginning of October. Uh, now, let me tell you what happened. Since we're on the satanic theme, the Democrat Party, a lot of people don't understand. They are the mafia. Okay. They, are moth they run the cartels, the drug cartels, okay, through the FBI and the CIA, okay? So, I'm going to tell you right now, they went down to those union leaders and uh, probably a couple of FBI agents, and they jacked them up. And they said, look, you know, we're coming into an election. You either in this strike right now or your family might not survive. Now, I'm just speculating. I, I don't know what threats they might have made, but I'm going to guarantee you it was something. We're either going to bankrupt you, we're going to, uh, uh, you know, kill your dog, <laughs> you know, eat your cat. You know, I don't know, but I'm going to guarantee you there was some serious threats made on those union leaders. And maybe someday we'll learn what took place. But that is the rest of the story. Okay, no way... No, after the threat, I mean, I didn't ever put up the video, but you can watch it. It's all over X. That union leader was pissed off. He was talk, bragging about how they were going to bring the country to its knees and people were going to be starving and the shelves were going to be empty. And then all of a sudden he changes his mind and says, oh, yeah, we'll wait till January the 15th. Oh, hell no. Somebody got to him. And they made some serious damn threats. And that's the rest of the story. Pretty spectacular. Look at that cow. He's eyeballing the hell out of me. Look at the white one over here. Look at him. He's not even taking his eyes off of me. Wish I could get a close-up. I want to see what them eyes look like. It's like, who the hell is this guy? Whoa, there he finally turned his head. What do you know? Вот дури у медведей. Вот дури. Особенно у мамы нашей. Гоняет всех. Всех гоняет. Вышла. Посидели. 
Валерий Денек. Все гоняет, 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 Ленка, гоняет. Лишь бы до меня не добралась. Маш, ну пойдем, все, хватит. Маршрут-то, маршрут -то надо придерживаться, играть в этой грунчики. Пошли. Ну вот, так и знал. Вот так и знал. Чего ты до меня так Я шлепнулся, сбилась ног. 